How's it going? This is Chris with Chris's Comments. Uh, it's Friday, March 26th. Friday! Uh, this is about a site discussing common sense on common grounds, no matter what the subject and the subject today is. The uh, trial of Twitter, Google, and Facebook. The CEOs to those uh, sites. It was uh, it was a big mess. This is coming from somebody that's just down at the very bottom of the totem pole, at the very shallow end of the pool. I got nothing right on this. No stocks, no nothing. Just just sharing with you with what some ordinary people uh, usually do, and I can't really. I can't really express this enough. You go to a site where people are discussing some stuff and they've got these one-sided viewpoints, in particularly a politicized um, viewpoint that really, you know, tends to go off topic and and away from the actual subject. Um, so, coming from this point of view, a nobody from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the trial was a mess. And, and like you, you get what the people are saying. You get what the lawyers are coming from. Okay. Algorithms. Help the computer mainframe. Set up more, uh, more info and more uh, input to the individual's algorithm. And that's how, you know, that's how you get people who are influenced uh, by the internet and by Facebook and by CEOs of uh, their, of Twitter and Google, you know. It makes sense. It makes sense, sort of, to a certain extent, I should say. Not so much sort of, to a certain extent. Okay, and I'll get, I'll get to that. There's also, uh, there's also algorithms to finding the most profitable ratings uh, the hits that come in with uh, people tapping into a site based off of whatever subject and unfortunately it's picking up a lot of the hate that's going around okay it's picking up a lot of um, people who want to demonize others as well as uh, uh, directed the anger and the hate towards somebody and the result of that is disinformation through demonization misinformation as well and on a personal level uh, on an individual level bullying to the point of uh, the victim being uh, commit committing suicide. And that's a very serious issue that a lot of these lawyers are trying to bring up. They're saying that, you know, Zuck Zuckerberg and Pichai and Dorsey uh, don't really give a damn about these things. They're saying that they're in it just for the money and even if it's at somebody else uh, losing his life, his or her life, it doesn't matter. It's just business. Now, that's what they're being accused of. And all three of those CEOs, they have uh, claimed that they've taken part in preventing and making sure that that's not true and uh, actually cooperating with law enforcement uh, to to keep people at least keep people from dying <laughs> to keep people from wanting to take their lives um, but they had to say that in this court of law that was just a circus it was um, it was lawyers being blood sucking angered on a mission uh, task mode 
For example, uh, these three were asked, are the technology platforms responsible for the election scandal leading up to the Capitol Hill riots? Zuckerberg, and this is where, where they have their own selves to blame at the same time, these CEOs. Okay. Zuckerberg went a roundabout way of answering. He didn't really answer yes or no. He just said, oh, you know, it's complicated. Pachai of Google did the same thing. Well, we cannot say this and we cannot d directly deny that uh, there is a confirmation or that we agree on any kind of denial. He just went all over the place also. Dorsey, however, the, the CEO to Twitter said... Uh, was the technology platform responsible? There was activity, but no, Twitter, Twitter was not responsible for the uh, for the riot. Okay, and that was about all that he could say, because while Zuckerberg and Pachai were were not answering directively, the lawyers would say, you know, would interrupt and say, "That's not an answer. That's not an answer." Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Can you just say yes or can you just say no? Yes or no, sir? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, now you see how that's aggravating? <laughs> Imagine being the guy that actually took the time to shut off his app, to sit here and, and, and watch this and just to just get exhausted by it. Um, it was a, It was just horrible. How is it not possible that the websites took part in the insurrection? Now, I don't have answers written down because they never got a chance to get around to it. They said they, they went all over the place about responsibility and people and there's this and the computer mainframe and and uh, and uh, the you know whatever we try to look at something and we don't support anything. And all this good stuff, and of course the the lawyers just said, "Answer the question! Answer the question! Answer the question! Can you answer the question? Answer the question! Answer the question!" And on and on and on and on. Do the vaccines work? And why are your sites saying no? This was interesting because there's a lot of people that have tried to um, mythicize the vaccines. And they try to give false um, narratives or accusations, if not full-out accusations, that if you take it, you'll get Bell's palsy. Uh, if you take the vaccine, you're worse off. And there is no vaccine. So don't do it. Uh, all, of these, all of these sites that are saying it's false and it doesn't work and... And if there is no vaccine, then how do you know it doesn't work? But that's not the subject. The question is, do the vaccines work and why are your sites saying no? Um, all three of them, all three CEOs, Zuckerberg, Pachai, and Dorsey said, yes, they do. We believe that it does work. And as far as answering why are, why are their sites saying no... They say, well, people have their opinions, and there's a little bit of this, and and you know somebody believes this, and and other people believe, and there's like some kind of other, and there's some people, that, and what do we really like to believe, and and all this other crap, you know, they never really went into why they're letting people bust uh, bust out this conspiracy theory, you know, and all this stuff when there's factual evidence proving them otherwise, proving them wrong, you know. Another question is, will you take the vaccine sites down today? Uh, the anti-vaccine sites. In particularly, the ones that are coming out with saying that they don't work and that they're false and there's they don't even exist. Okay. Now, Zuckerberg and, and uh, Pachai... They said they'll look into it. It was Dorsey from Twitter that said, yeah, I can remove it. That's not a problem. I don't think that they did anything wrong. 
uh, in saying this, but yeah, I can actually, if it's proven uh, incorrect, if the accusation is proven incorrect, then yeah, that it is a false accusation and I can take it down, that's not a problem. And that was a solid answer. Uh, everybody else just did the runaround. They gave no answer. They did it bait around the bush. Somebody brought up the bullying and the stalked victims, which led to some of these victims' deaths. And uh, this was this was actually a very reasonable question, uh, and it was for some oddball reason only focused on Zuckerberg. And I'm guessing because it's a little bit easier to uh, to not only jump on somebody but to to persist and. Um, maintain the negativity uh, towards that person. Now, when the question was brought on, uh, do you feel your site played a role to bullied and stalked victims' deaths? Zuckerberg wouldn't give an answer. He, he would not give an answer, and he said the responsibility is still technically on the individual in a roundabout sort of way. Um, which, in an oddball sort of way, it is true. Um, if you're getting stalked, you have to call the cops. Uh, if there's somebody stalking you, you have to report it even on Zuckerberg's, uh, uh, site and all this good stuff. Uh, it's still up to the, res uh, person, uh, to, to, uh, report to the police to go, you know, go as far as Congress if you have to, uh, to get this douchebag from, uh, bullying and stalking and death threats and threats of uh, sexual violations. Uh, it's it's important, you know, to always stand up. That that rule of thumb has not changed, uh, and I think that's something that we can all agree on. We who are you know, uh, common sense on common ground kind of thing uh, viewpoint. Um, another question: uh, What changes for anti-child exploitation are supported? Uh, that's something that Zuckerberg had to clarify and explain uh, immensely because he's the one that actually said, you know, that the internet was good and that it can actually stand up to child exploitation and uh, and any other kind of uh, trafficking and stuff like that. And his answer was uh, moderate and remove illegal contact, which on a technical level, coming from a third point of view, speaking as no taking no sides whatsoever, Technically, that's all he can do is just remove this content of exploitation and anything concerning human trafficking. Um, that's all that he really can do. And technically, that part still has to fall on the rest of us after he's done with that. Uh, because you can't exactly expect Zuckerberg or anybody of a CEO to a tech app agency to be a detective. You can't expect them to uh, to see uh, a picture of a, a girl uh, wanting to sell her 16-year-old car without showing any pictures of a car. I mean, now that's pretty obvious these days, but it had to take detectives to figure out that the 16-year-old was being put up for sale, you know? No price or anything, no destination. It was only for interested people only. And those that were interested would usually get questioned as well as answering questions for the seller to know as to whether or not he can actually go on out and say, this isn't for a 16-year-old car, it's for a 16-year-old. Uh, and you really have to, you really have to cut a little bit of slack, but at the same time, these questions still has to be answered. Uh, they still have to be asked uh, of Zuckerberg, uh, Pachai, and Dorsey, and the next person, should they retire, whoever else is taken over to be CEO, whoever else is in charge, whoever else is, uh, is going to stand up to it. Um, now, Zuckerberg was the one that, the main answer uh, to that one particular question and both uh, Pachai and Dorsey had agreed that, yeah, this is, this is the best way to handle it, for, especially since that is the best way and the only way that they technically actually can. Um, 
which then moved to consumer protection laws uh, and are the websites responsible uh, for this. Um, Zuckerberg wouldn't give an answer. He just didn't, he didn't give a straight answer. He said it's complicated all over again. Um, Pachai said yes. Uh, and he reverted back to moderate and remove illegal content uh, duties and responsibilities that uh, that the CEO is, is permitted to do. Um, time ran out and Dorsey of Twitter just simply didn't get a chance to ans answer the question. Uh, liability of disinformation ads. All three of them disapprove of it. You know, despite the fact that the lawyers are still saying it's still being posted, you know, Biden is communist. Um, Democrats are for uh, Pizzagate. Um, all jobs concerned if you're two million jobs. Here's one that I actually am familiar with me being a Texan and actually paying attention to what's going on. All jobs uh, concerning fuel and oil industry, that's up to two million jobs in Texas will, will be lost if the Green New Deal is approved. Now, technically, it's only uh, about 100,000 to 200,000, uh, 250,000 at the most jobs in Texas alone. But it's usually around a hundred thousand. It's only been two hundred thousand when uh, when it was approved, and cuts to other countries were cut short, and we really needed to start drilling on American soil. But on average, here in Texas, it's one hundred thousand, and about sixty thousand of them will get job layoff and cut. And the reason why is because it's an oil drilling job. Each oil drill is a project, okay, and it re and it pumps up a lot of uh, oil and fuel for truckers and drillers to work on and all this good stuff. But once that's done, once it's set up, well, that particular part of the project is done. Once the oil well is uh, once the oil well is is uh, dried, that particular part is done. You know, so all these other v people that are involved with that project, they have to be let go. Plain and simple. And um, so for everybody to say, well, $200 million, I mean, 200 million people, 200 million jobs, 2 million people uh, will lose their jobs and all this stuff. No, that's BS. Uh, only about half a million to 600,000 nationwide are employed through the oil and fuel industry. And it's about 100 million nationwide that are cut. And it's mostly because of these, uh, mostly because the, 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 pro the work that they're doing is project work, contract work. They're under contract to operate for this drill site, for this amount of oil, for this kind of trucking and shipping uh, uh, amount. And once that's done, it's done. Every year, the oil and in, uh, oil industry does this. Okay, but we've got ads that say if you vote for that guy, all these jobs are going to be lost, and it's going to be exaggerated. Instead of saying half a million, it's going to be two million that are going to be lost, and uh, that is. The, uh, the disapproval that all three CEOs are saying, no, they disapprove of uh, disinformation ads and they shouldn't be liable for it. But even if they are, they don't have a problem with removing them. And I know what a lot of you are thinking right now, when the hell have they ever done that? No, I get it, I get it. This is just what's going on on the court case. Now I'm running low on time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skim through the rest of this and do the summary. Um, do reinstate, oh shoot, reinstatement with the, uh, <laughs> reinstatement of cooperation with law enforcement. It turns out, um, it went through a dry spell. Um, 
Zuckerberg and and uh, Pachai mostly were criticized by these attorneys uh, for slacking off and not upholding the agreement to cooperate with law enforcement uh, whenever some kind of investigation was needed. And uh, Dorsey apparently was the only one that says, hey, we've always, we've always cooperated with law enforcement. I don't know where you're coming from with this. And the rest is about uh, the algorithms and back to the kids and back to uh, hate and all the disinformation and misinformation. Um, and that was pretty much it. It was just back and forth of, of uh, those questions. Some of them answered, some of them not. And the, the not part is what got me here to post this one person from Nowheresville point of view um, the lawyers just plain sucked if you're going to put a corporation that big on the spot and you're going to ask them questions about their job and stuff don't be so over dramatic just get them to answer the question and then go through it now I understand the yes or no and the part where they're doing the runaround. Yeah, you got that. But for the most part, it was simply, can I ask you a question and will you answer it? Will you just answer it? That's all I saw. That's all this little guy from Noah's Vale saw. Okay? Now, I understand it worked great with Elizabeth Warren. Woo! When she put up uh, the banks and, and uh, Wall Street up against the wall. At least they felt like it. Well, all of this, how dare you ask me this? Who are you to question me? And all those response to Warren. Uh, it would have been nice if she was the one that was questioning because she really had a great way of, of just getting the question out there. And so I see the footsteps that are being followed. I see the playbook. I see the pages out of the playbook. Uh, you just went a little too far, you know? The lawyers just went a little too far with it. They need to be a little bit more controlled. They were doing fine staying on top when the CEOs weren't answering the questions or going in a roundabout way. But once they were on a roll, ugh, they just dropped the ball. The lawyers just didn't let them talk and didn't let them answer and didn't let them uh, do anything. You know, at some point it was just answer yes or no, just answer yes or no. And then they had to go back to, uh, you know, answer the question, a yes or no question. And they had to go right back to looking at the question that they wanted them to answer. Which means they lost track of what they were doing. Ah! You know, I sat here, and as a matter of fact, I sat in this location, turned on the thing, and I was eating my lunch because I was on break. And I saw this, and it was just this horrible fiasco. Um... It, you know, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you know, you ask questions tough and everything like that the way you're supposed to. Uh, the way the way uh, previous people did when going against the, the big dogs. And I got it. You know, from this nobody's point of view, uh, from Nowheresville, U.S. of A. Um, yeah. I got it. It was it was pretty good, but uh, you you need to brush up on. You need a little more practice in order to be an ace uh, to be an ace as big as you know as uh, Warren and uh, others along that line. Uh, uh, a lot of less crying and a lot less theatrical uh, shaming would have helped. Also, um, the atrocity. And that one woman lawyer, I forgot her name, and I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw the name, but I will say that one lady, oh my god, think of the children! Ah! Okay, stop that. Stop that right now. Okay? That's that's dumb. Alright? It's dumb. You wanna do that when you've got when you're a sp spokesperson for something. You're an attorney. Be an attorney, please. Are, what are you running for? What is she running for governor or what? 
Was she running for Congress or something? You know, what What was that? Oh! Bah. And will you please answer the question? What the hell was that? Okay, and uh, just tone it down. You know, you've got the right pages from the right playbook. Previous giants that have been questioned and have been shaking in their boots, you know, is cool. You get mad respect from this nobody from nowhere, so this little, little guy from wherever. But you got to tone it down a little bit, okay? You got the right pages from the good playbook. And you're using them, obviously. Rethink your strategy. Go at it again. Um, that's it for now. I've got one minute left. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, thanks for listening. Uh, have a happy Friday. Be safe out there. We still have a airborne virus. And it's coming up with some variances. Uh, so just stay safe, uh, be cool, keep cool, and uh, have a good safe weekend. This is Chris with Chris's Comments, signing out.